Getting to Unreal rank in Fortnite is incredibly hard and reserved for only the most skilled players in the game. It's so hard that most people think you can only do it if you have a PC with good performance. But I'm proving that wrong because in this video I'm going from gold to Unreal all while playing on console. So you'll want to make sure to watch until the end. It all started here in gold 2 where you'd think the games would be really easy but there was an issue. My console duel was already in diamond 3 which I'm means no right way. away we started in some pretty hard lobbies. All right. After the solid clutch by me, we rotated out and I was really just trying to get used to the feel of console. Like I played on my PS4 in chapter 1, but since the start of chapter 2, I've always played on a PC. So this PS5 feels way different from the graphics to the input delay, everything takes some getting used to. But I could tell I was adjusting pretty well when I got this clutch reboot and then made it to endgame. He's in my box. Where is it? Dead. Dead on one? Down two? I have no, no mass. I, I, no I have no mass. Yeah, no, there's just nothing I can do. I have like nothing. <laughs> like, uh, we just, like, neither of us have mad. Unfortunately, we were shambles there at the end, and honestly, not winning our very first game while just being in gold made me a little nervous about what was to come. But I felt a little better seeing that I went up nearly a full 100% and was nearing platinum rank heading into game two. Game two is where I realized that hitting snipes on console feels way easier than on PC, likely because the aim assist. Modern? If you didn't know, console aim assist is a lot stronger compared to PC, <laughs> and for good reason. But that also means that aiming is a bit easier so you'll track. probably notice that I'm running the auto shotgun a lot in this video and it's because when paired with console aim assist it it's broken. Unfortunately though here I ran out of heals and then got lasered at the most unfortunate time leaving my duo SR3 alone to clutch. And yeah, you can definitely tell these are not gold lobbies. But even at an 11th place finish, I still went up to nearly halfway through Platinum 1. Obviously, these lower ranks are really easy to get through, but I think I was getting so much percent because my duo was now in elite rank, so every player we eliminated was a way higher rank than me and boosted my percent, which I'm definitely not mad about. So after queuing back up and having an off spawn Bro, fight, I went it. and got another clutch reboot, and then we finally made it to another end game, and it was looking like we might get our first win of the day. I cracked them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just ran away to them. <laughs> oh, man. And indeed we I did, did. getting our lead, first man. win of the day. Only seven elims, but enough to take me all the way up into platinum too. So far, every single game we've played, I've went up a whole rank and I wanted to keep that going. So when we realized our drop was contested and neither of us had good loot, we just ran away. We had a slight issue when SR3 got sniped yeah, off the that. dirt bike from 140 meters away. A crazy shot by that guy, but we got back up, got some loot, and that led us to this fight. There's people here. Oh, sick. Oh, actually, they're both on. Wait, cone? Boxed? Wow, I'm, I'm the so goat. good. <laughs> Wait, we're so good. Honestly, after only about 90 minutes of being on console, I feel like I was fully adjusted. The aim legitimately yeah, feels awesome. easier, and the builds and overall gameplay don't feel nearly as bad as I expected. But at this point, our goal was to rank up as fast as possible, and the key to that is winning every single game. To do that, we decided to start playing really weird and just hanging out on the outskirts of the map until we got to end game, where we went full try hard mode them? to try to win the game. Okay. I'm body blocked. Okay. 116? Dead. 72? Box? Right. Nice. Dead. 76. Dead. I'm just grappled up on me. Nice. Dead. Every op shot. Our passive strategy paid off, and we got our second win in a row, sending me all the way to 80% of Platinum 2. Slowly but surely, making my way towards there, Diamond Rank, we which should be actually, just two yeah, games yeah. away if we keep the strategy up. And uh, we definitely kept it up. This may look like a boring way to play, but if your goal is to just Start rank up, it's honestly kind of nice. You land, loot up, take I a fight or two, there, and then hide and chill on your phone for a bit. And then you get to play Endgame, which is the most fun part of the map. So that's exactly that's what we did. Did here and then again we went full tryhard at end game to make sure we could get the win. There's people. There's people in zone. What the hell? Four three wise. What is that? These guys think they're invisible. The other guys in here. 
Dead on one. He just grappled up. Dad. And once again, it works. This strategy was starting to seem like it couldn't fail, and I got yeah, ranked up just 39% shy of reaching diamond. Now, our next game started off a little more spicy than the last few. We had an off spawn fight, which we won pretty easily, but then we started taking a few mid game fights instead of completely hiding. That's when Ezra 3 went down, and it was all on me to clutch. Where did Please shoot him. But he was literally 8 HP, so it wasn't really a clutch. Yes. After I rezzed SR3, we got back to our strategy, because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We made it to our third endgame in a row, and it looked like we were getting ready to get our third win in a row, until I got sniped while rotating in, and then SR3 died in zone. We play 6th, which is arguably the worst spot to die, because you don't get much placement percentage, but you just spent nearly 20 minutes to get to endgame. After an entire hour of playing super passive, it got kind of boring so we got another Walter, console Walter. player Dalty to join us for trios and this guy I mean you'll see here soon but he's insane on console so being just four percent right outside of diamond we dropped into our really, first got, trios got game oh my god oh my god that's I'm in, in. Dead. oh my god what's happening to me I'm so sorry I apologize 5170 I, I just hit the meanest click of all time mm -hmm. I'm in I just should not have done that. I need help. One HP, one HP on that. With the way we were destroying this lobby, I got way too confident and jumped in, which I instantly regretted, but I figured my teammates had to win on lock. There's just no way they could no lose, match. but then SR3 died. It's now a 1v2 for Dolty Walty, and I mean, just watch this guy. I feel him. Every Medine. Oh, that kid's going for him. Wait, oh on. 97, 200. Wait, he's the best in the game, Joe. This, I had this kid 100 so earlier. fast. He's so fast. Dalty with the God Clutch finally broke me into Diamond Rank, which is the final tier before Elite, where the challenge starts to get a little harder. But that game also happened to be the one that sent my teammate SR3 to Champions Rank, which means all of our games were now strictly played in the best lobbies. Because there's so few players in Unreal, the game fills up lobbies with a mix of Unreal and Champions players. So these lobbies are now the hardest we'll face. And I'm still still only diamond one. So in the hardest lobbies, with still a long way to go, we had to make sure we were locked in for the rest of this challenge. No scope. I got full carried in this match, oh. I won't even lie. I literally had one yeah, Elim to compared to my teammates 20, like but it was enough to rank me up into Diamond 2. We won our last game so easily that I think we let our guard down too much because this kid <laughs> fully ran through my wall, oh and then while Dalty was running away, okay. he got sniped. In ranked, you're obviously so always going to have bad or games, or but the key is to not let them compound. First if you get one bad game, game, you have to lock in and try your best to win the next, which is exactly yeah, what our mindset up. was heading into this next game. I killed one right there, Carter. Yeah, they're in the box. Right there. That aim assist just pulled with a. Oh. It's the goat. Uh, Dalty, can you throw back a med? I'm gonna loot this body. There's so much loot right here if you Bro, want to. Bro, I just got sniped. He just got sniped out the air. I just got sniped twice. Like, this game just did not want me alive. But it didn't even matter Damn, because Dalty is literally the best console player I've ever seen. Like, he was in this 1v3 situation in Endgame and did this. I think that matters to him. Oh, they're dropping down for the double. That's insane. Oh my. Nice, I like it's weak. Oh my. <laughs> so attractive, bro. Like, oh. <laughs> Another crazy clutch from the man Dalty Walty put me just barely short of Diamond 3, which is the final rank before E Week, which in theory should be harder. But our lobbies are already all Unreal and Champions players, so really, as long as we keep this pace up, I should make some easy progress through those ranks. But we absolutely sold. We once again let our guard down and literally got 1v3, which was not good for the morale or my percentage because I dropped back eight entire percent. You have to have a short memory in rank though, so we dropped really right weak, back really into weak. our next game and had a pretty decent early game. Then both SR3 and Dalty went Somebody down and now it was my turn to clutch. And when 
I clutch, it looks a little different than Dalty because I just run. Playing really safe like this and getting teammates rebooted is the best way to rank up fast. You're just playing for the win the whole time and it's something basically all of the top Unreal players do. It ensures that you never drop progress and you always have the opportunity to win the game. So my clutch reboot led yeah, us to this fight. Real He's full one shot. Yeah, some of these players are just trying so hard, but you know, it's ranked, so it's kind of expected. But this game right here could be the one to put me up into elite rank as long as we don't choke. She's for white? Yeah. Wait, Wait, no, no real, real kid, met. real kid right here. This guy just jumped through. Bro, hello? Game. Yeah, hey, they're resing on my car. Nice. Okay. Right here. I got. Why are all three of these kids in one wood box? Please explain. This is the most passionate duo I've ever met. <laughs> this is real. Right. Nice, Hunter. Oh, he's still just jumping on you. Wait, one Wait. got knocked. I didn't even hey, let's go. And Dalty <laughs> just never chokes. This guy is actually the GOAT. So that game put me just barely outside of elite rank. I never realized how long the early ranks actually take to get through. Like, they're very easy to get through. I mean, the players are usually bad, and you rank up a lot in every game. But still, to go from gold 2 until just before elite has taken me five and a half hours. Like, that's a long time. Despite that, this has to be the game to hit elite. I mean, I'm only 13% away. So lag experience. Him up. Hit him for so much damage. One HP, one, one, one. Okay. That would do so good though. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is crazy. Wait. Who did I? There is, there is, there is. He's in the car, he's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I missed. Eddie, I was able to load straight into the game. So Elite Rank was finally mine after nearly six hours of playing. Now I'm approaching the final stretch until making it to Unreal, but this is where they get you. You rank up so fast through the golds and the platinums and the diamonds, but once you hit Elite, it starts to slow down. You go from getting 50% per win to now 20% if you're lucky, and once you reach Champions, the maximum you're getting is 13%. So getting to Elite is exciting, but I know that this stretch is deceiving, and if I want to hit Unreal anytime soon, we have to keep winning games, which I was I not doing a doing great job helping with he in this match. Wall, I, we both just, he just did. That, he just did. I saw it. No, I'm That's a different kid. 110, 110. He, I hit him. I hit him. Oh, I did not know there was two in here. Yeah, I'm in his box. That timing was so Dead good. On. Dead on one. Dead on one. What the hell is that? This kid has a medallion. Nice. Hey, what is that thing? No, there's a kid on the brick. On the brick, you see him. Oh my. Not the dull TPs. The big win ranked me up over 20%, which was actually crazy. At this rate, I'll be in champions in less than three games, which is even faster than ranking up through diamond was. With that in mind, I did not want to lose, but the game had other plans. Despite the loss, I actually gained 1%, which I'm not mad about. And going into our next game, I was feeling pretty good. Dead, dead on fish. 116 on other fish. Or is that guy? Dead on other thing? Wait, wait. Oh, I almost wait, made wait, it a three piece. Chris Kyle, Chris Kyle, give me time. 25 white on other thing? Oh, yeah. Wow, <laughs> that guy <laughs> thrived, <laughs> man. I'm coming down. Bro, this guy's actually a aimbot. Oh my good god. 
These games are starting to get rough. It just sucks getting so close to endgame just to die right inside of top 10 because the progress starts to get way slower. But the key is to not get rattled. You just have to bounce back and that's exactly what we did in this nearly 40 bomb game. Is that on one? Is that on two fish? What the hell? I just got shot through everything. Crack, 97. He got in? Hello? He... Bro. About to run in there. Two honored, like, come on. You're on kick. You're on kick, streaming on kick. Wait. Salty. Come, come, come. Down, down, down. Uh oh. Two, two almost dead. Two almost dead. Two almost dead. Once, one, the blue skin's one shot. I killed on. I just got sniped. You're on the way like that. Get back here. It's ours. Fifty eight cracked on the one uh, jumping in on your top. Dead up top. It's not even bad. The win got me right back on track, ranking up 20 more percent, which means one more win should put me in the champions, the final rank before the ultimate goal of Unreal. I let my teammates know that we needed to lock in for this game, and we did just that. Um, one shot on him. I'm rolling. Hey. Nice, Carter. 24 white, 24 white on this kid. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Okay. Nice. Look at us, bro. Elite. Oh my God. This is gonna put me in We hit it. Hey. Champions rank is mine, and it took exactly seven and a half hours to get there from gold two. We were actually making solid progress, and both of my teammates were officially in Unreal now. With just 82% of champions standing between me and getting to Unreal on console, we queued up. The scary part about champions is you only get about 10% of progression for a win. Meanwhile, you can lose up to 5% if you die off spawn. This is the exact reason why when both of my teammates went down, I instantly hit. For literally five entire minutes, I waited until these freaks so finally left to get my teammates card at the very last second, and then I was able to reboot them, which saved our game and saved my progression because that clutch reboot led to this game. Huh? Uh, that over here? Because you told me not to wake up yeah, early. Exactly. Wait, you got my bar? Wait, that's right there. I'm moving. Like, <laughs> <laughs> W watch time. What the goat? God, you are so good. It's insane. That is ridiculous. So 13% of champion progress is definitely solid. At this rate, I'm about five good games away from hitting Unreal, but we all know how champions go. You never just get all good games. There's always something dumb that happens to kill the vibes, kill the progression. And that's exactly what happened right here when we died in sixth Yo, place, an absolute brutal no, yeah, spot to finish in champions rank. I mean, an entire 20 minute game led to 4% of progress, which is a complete mood killer. And that's when we called it for the night. But then me and SR3 picked it right back up the next morning in duos where we went back to our OG strategy of just playing really to passive to make it. sure we can make Don't it to end game. Despite a third place finish, I only gained 3%, which was not a good way to start the day. Oh, but that's God. when Dalty Walty joined our party again and readied up for some trios in our first game of the day went pretty well, I'd say. I'm, I'm gonna whip him. Yeah. Oh, my bad. 
Yeah, hit him. <laughs> Another 10 yeah. white. He's dead the zone. So 10% for champions win, pretty standard gain and a good bounce back, but after dropping into our next game, me and SR3 noticed something was off. Wait, Dalty. Wait, Dalty, where are you? Dalty didn't load in the game, and duos were bad enough, but now me and SR3 had to duo trio this lobby, and dying off spawn wastes so much progress, so we had to play it out. But that didn't last long, and I lost 3%. That may not seem like a lot, but remember, I only gained 10% for a whole 20 elim win. This just took away nearly a third of my progress from that win. The next game, Dalty did make it into, but this time it didn't even matter, because we died at Lavish again, and I dropped another 3%. This is why champions rank gets really hard, because even if you play pretty good and win like one of every three games, if you die early in the match, it strips all of your progress, and it's annoying, it's demotivating, it makes you play worse, and it makes your teammates leave. So now it was just me and Dalty against the world, and our first game was actually pretty promising. 32, death. Because this was a duos game, I went up 14% for this win, which is huge in Champions. If you didn't know, the more teammates you have, the less percent you gain. So here in Champions, a squad win is around 8%, a trio is around 10%, a duo is around 14%, and a solos, I actually don't know because I hate solo ranked, but I'm assuming it's around 16%. But none of that matters if you turn around and die early game like we just did to lose progress again. This is the part of Unreal where you start questioning if it's even worth it to keep grinding. But being just 40% away from Unreal, all I had to do at this point is keep a good mindset and with enough time, I know I'll hit Unreal. So this game was going well and then I got sniped and then Dalty died. And then the next game, I had no mats and died and then Dalty died. The games were just not looking good, so we decided to take a break for a few hours, and when I came back, SR3 wanted to play again. So we queued into duos, and again, opted to play really passively to get the rest of champions as fast as possible, and this time it worked. Sitting in the vault all game got us to this end game. This is crazy. Uh, it's 200 nice. on Dead on one. Drop him, drop him, drop him. And as you can tell, that win was really easy. The results screen was bugged, so I have no idea how much progress I gained, but I'm assuming around 12%, and then Dalty joined back up. This should be our last session playing together. I only need three or four more good games to finally hit Unreal, and we weren't messing around. Everyone was sick of playing on consoles, so we locked in. Look at my box. Yo. Unfortunately, we went down at top 7, but I gained my percent from the last win that didn't show up, so it didn't feel like a total loss. Then that led us to this next game, where my aim was locked in, like I just couldn't miss, especially in endgame. Right, he jumped on me. He's one. Not one, but... Like, eat from everything you can do. Do not do that. I think I'd become a booger. Dead. Couldn't pickaxe this kid, man. My bad. Nice. Somehow, that win only gained me 2%, which I was really hoping was just a visual bug. If this is my true percentage, then that means I'll need 19 wins without dying early once, and if that's the case, I'd just quit this challenge, because that's basically impossible. So with the hopes that it was just a visual bug, we queued into our next game, and we were locked in. Wow, how did I miss that? Dead. 34. This game sent me up 21% of champions rank, but really I probably just gained all of the percent that I should have in our last game. Oh, just 16% oh away from Unreal now, this could be the game that I hit it if we get a crazy amount of eagles, and we tried to do that. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yo. I'm holding this good, don't care. You're on console. The 
last team. That was now our third win in a row, and that set me up 9%, so this next win will 100% put me in Unreal. We just have to lock in for one final game. My auto sucks, apparently. I'm trying to crawl out. Dead end two. Living. I didn't have a Oh, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I just... Bad. Nice. Whoa, I'm in. And then I get sniped from another team. Like, don't shoot me, bro. Barely. Kind of. Yeah, bro, this is shot. There's just no way they're still looking at me. Like, bro, they're actually weird. They're actually just Check so that. weird. And we were locked in, but it wasn't enough. Placing just top seven with nearly 20 elims only gained me 2%, which seems insane, but whatever, I'm 5% away. So for what is hopefully the last time, we queue up, drop into the lavish train station, and lock in. Ooh, he's one. He's actually one. Bro, he has the best loot in the game now. Oh my god. That's what he just did to me. I'm not trolling. Whoa, there's. Wait. Oh, you just got fried. Be careful. Dude, I need another team. Run, 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 run. One sixteen. Dead. Oh, I'm able to burst this and dude, I'm dead. Seventy eight crack. Nice. Nice. We did it, man. Let's see it. Fetching results. Nineteen elims. That's unreal. And there it is, 13 hours after queuing up, from Gold 2 all the way to Unreal, strictly on console, with only console teammates, I am now Unreal. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.